every designer makes the mistake of using the pencil tool when in reality, the pen tool is all you need. I'm gonna show you how to use it like a pro. So the first thing you need to know, you've got anchors and handles. You can see if I select this circle, you can see the anchor point is basically a starting, middle or ending point on a line. So we've got one anchor point here. This little square one is an anchor point as well. And you can see on the south and the west there as well. Now the handle is actually these lines with the little circle, as you can see there, and this controls the curvature of the line of the shape or the object. Now, if I move this handle, I can actually move this handle just like this, and it's going to adjust the curvature. If I hold Alt, it will only select the handle that I'm selecting and won't move the other handle on the other side. So I can move this curvature just like this. I can bend it if I want, and I can adjust the curvature just like that. Now, if you wanted to create a logo based on a letter or a typographic approach, what you can actually do is you want to make sure that the anchor points are sitting on the north, the east, the south, and the west points of the letter. So you want to aim for the furthest points. So you can see here the furthest point for this letter would be probably here, here, uh, here, and here, and here, as you can see, just for example. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to press P for my pen tool. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the right side here on the top. I'm gonna left click and then that's the probably the furth furthest on this line here. I'm gonna hold shift, I'm gonna left click first and then hold shift and then I'm gonna drag. And what shift does is holding shift controls the angle. So it'll snap it to 45 degrees or a 90 degree angle as you can see there. So all I'm gonna do now is just pull it to the left and I'm gonna get this perfect curvature here on that line so it will match the S in the best possible mathematically correct way. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly just decrease the size of my stroke because it's a very fat stroke. And then I'm going to continue down here and I'm going to find the furthest point on the left here. And then I'm going to hold shift this time. I'm holding upwards and dragging down instead of left because we want the curve to go up. And then boom, you can see we've got that perfect curve just like that. And I'm going to continue to do this on these points here, as you can see. So I'll go down here and you can see the S. It doesn't have to be perfect to my sketch. I can always come here, hold alt or option if you're on a Mac and then I can just adjust the curvature of that. Keep in mind though, if you start to adjust it too much, it will start to mess up this curve there. So you gotta play around and adjust both sides. Don't have one handle too long. You can see how this handle is very long and this one is short. So what you wanna do is sort of match it a little bit better like this. And so you should get a nicer curve there and we can always come through. I'll direct select that and I can actually, you know, start to curve that out a bit more, but I can do that at the end. Now I'll quickly continue here. That point's good, this point is here. Sometimes you won't actually get exactly those extra lines, so I'm just gonna left click there. I'm gonna hold shift, left click, find the furthest point, find the furthest south point here, drag to the right, do this side, drag up, hold shift, drag to the left, and this one I'm gonna drag up, and then for this one I can just drag it diagonally. I don't have to hold shift because it's the last little section there, and then I'm gonna drag down holding shift, perfect. And now if we want to actually go and smoothen some of these areas out, I can actually just Round it off like this. You know, I can adjust the anchor points. I can adjust the handles as well. If I'm not liking it. If I want to add a bit more curvature, as you can see there. And then I might just adjust. Boom. And so you can see if I click on the letter now, you can see all the anchor points. If I select all the anchors, you can see all the handles there. And then, you know, we can go ahead, change the color and do whatever we want to this logo. And so I'll quickly trace this D right here using the pen tool. And it's all about clicking and dragging. And then, you know, if I need to adjust the handles, hold Alt. If I need to hold the angle proportions for 90 degree or 45, then I hold Shift. It's really simple. Those are the tactics for the pen tool. So with this one, it's very free flowing. All I have to do is left click and drag, left click and drag. And so I'm just creating multiple paths, multiple curves to make it organic as possible. And all I gotta do is just follow the photo and obviously, the further away the point you add, it's going to be a lot smoother line. So you don't want to add points that are too close basic together because then you'll be very choppy. Let me just change the color real quick so you guys can see. I'll do it to a red. And so I'm going through here and tracing this very fast. And as I'm going, another trick is what I'm doing is I'm holding space. If you hold space, you can actually move the anchor port. So maybe you click here. It's like, whoops, I made a mistake. You can hold space and move that pen tool as you can see. While I'm holding my left click down, you can move that. Super cool trick. Then once again, I'll hold Alt and adjust the curvature on the fly just like that. Now you can see the curve. Illustrator is trying to predict where the curve is going to go, where my next point is. 
And so if I don't want that, as you can see, because I want it to go downwards, all I got to do is hold Alt. You see the mouse change. I'm going to left click on that anchor point. So I'm going to left click once. And now it should go back to a straight line. So now I can just go straight down like that. Super easy and super cool. And so maybe you didn't know those little tips and tricks, but trust me, once you start applying it, it's going to make these process so much faster whenever you're working on an illustration, when you're working on logos, when you're working on different types of designs, it's going to be way better. Clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging, trying to keep those organic shapes. I don't want to make it too straight unless you're going for that like really geometric style illustration. Then you can make things really straight, but really that's just about the style and that's up to you. And the more you practice, the more you will improve and get better and you'll get faster. And I'm not using a Wacom. This is best done with the mouse, to be honest, because it would be very tedious if you're using a tablet for this type of like pen tool work. And so I'm also using space to move along my screen and holding Alt to zoom in and hold space as I'm moving along. So I'll zoom in, do this, hold space, go to the left, zoom out, hold space, boom, boom, boom. Just like that makes it super fast and easy. Boom. Now if I press Shift X, I'm going to flip the fill to the stroke. And now we can see we've got this nice illustration here. It's very flat. It doesn't have the face, but you can see we've got this nice silhouette. And then, you know, we can add like a floor. We can add like little leaves if we want. Or grass or whatever. I can flip this really quick. I'm holding Alt just to quickly duplicate. And there we have it. We got this really cool design. We can change the color if we want. We want to go sort of brown. Boom. Super easy. And that was done in less than five minutes with the pen tool. And, you know, we can always go back. We can add detail. You know, I can make a another shape. So you can see what I'd like to do is just create separate shapes like this, and then I'll duplicate the bottom shape and then I'm going to cut out the top. So delete that. And now I've got a separate shape for the face, as you can see. So maybe if we wanted to have one color like brown and the other one, like a bit lighter or something, go to my swatches, maybe a bit lighter. You can have that as well. And then we can add like the eyes and all that stuff. So that's how you use the pen tool to be super fast, become a pro at it. If you want to see other tutorials just like this, you can watch this playlist or this video right here to learn how to use the other tools in Illustrator.